Hello there, St. John's friends. Good to see you today. Thanks for joining me. Yes, I'm in the courtyard at St. John's, as you can see. And I'm just going to show you some of these beautiful growing things. We have such talented gardeners and, and people who have green thumbs here. If I can show you, I think a bunch of beautiful lush green hostas are growing these days. And, of course, the beautiful Christ statue in our midst. So, you'll know why I brought you out here in just a moment. Hope you don't get motion sickness with me moving around a little bit. But I want to read to you a devotional reading from an author by the name of Katrina Bradley, who starts out with 1 Peter 5, 8, where she says, it's important to lift up this text. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. My husband and I have never been known for our gardening skills. In fact, our friends have called our yard the Garden of Weeden. So when we landscaped our new home, we called in an expert to help us start with a good foundation to begin. Thanks to him, no weeds sprouted among the tender shrubs and flowers. We were overjoyed until we noticed that the weeds had merely packed their bags and moved to our lawn. Instead of consulting the expert again, my husband took control of the situation himself. A trip to the hardware store netted weed killer and sprayer. He was almost finished dousing the invaders when I looked at the empty weed killer bottle for the first time. I could not believe what I read. Weed and grass killer. Oh no. A month later, our lush lawn was marred by large brown splotches of dirt, missing pieces of a sod puzzle. For three long years, we watched Bermuda runners creep into the dirt patches, multiplying, spreading, and filling in the gaps. Neighbors surely deemed our lawn an eyesore, but we survived the open wounds caused by our inept efforts. Now, years later, neighbors drive by and see a lush front lawn again. It is well maintained and virtually weed free. We have learned that it's a mistake not to stay in contact with the expert. It's a good day to be mindful of all the people that God has surrounded us with in our own lives personally and professionally as well as here at St. John's Lutheran Church. There are such talented folks, people with such knowledge and history and institutional memory and professional experience and life experience. And so as we move forward, as we soon will be looking forward to coming together in worship once again and resuming many in-person activities, let's be mindful of how we can get as many people involved, engage as many people as possible who have various areas of expertise and interest and ability to be involved in so many different ways. In the meantime, I'm grateful for those who know how to plant and grow things uh, to God's glory and to the benefit and edification of St. John's Lutheran Church. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your word and thank you for helping us to reflect on how gifted you have uh, made us as a church and as a people and as a human race. We pray that we would lean on each other, trust in each other, and work with each other in order to bring uh, beautiful growing things, not just in the form of plant life, but with people. Bless us with your grace and your Holy Spirit of wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me.